guys, today we're going to check out how to do some portal effects, like the one seen here. Obviously this is from my short film, Experimental Portal Device, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out, it's awesome. Well, at least I think it's awesome. So anyway, let's move on to the tutorial. I'll create a new composition. I'll uh, we'll just name this portal, Orange Portal. Uh, use whatever settings you want, I'm just using my usual settings, uh, I'll just make it 10 seconds long. You basically want to make it as long as uh, the clip that you're editing the portals into. So if your clip is 10 seconds, you want it to be uh, probably more than 10 seconds or around 10 seconds. Anyway, let's go. So now let's create a new solid. Right click new solid. And we're going to make an orange portal here. So name this orange portal. And the color that I used for this orange portal is. What am I doing? FF99? No, 9000. Okay, so you have this nice orange shade. Okay, now take the elliptical mask tool. If it's not there, uh, hold right click down. Sorry, left click. And then go to ellipse tool. And just draw a shape of a portal. Something like this, an oval shape. Mm hmm. And then duplicate that mask, pressing Ctrl D. I'll set the second mask to subtract, and then hit MM on the second mask. And then put the expansion down, maybe minus 30. And then feather, maybe 10. No, 15. So you have that nice ring shape. And if you think the border is a bit too thick, you can just turn down the uh, expansion or turn it up so for this we're just going to use minus 30 and maybe uh, yeah 15 or 25 even feathering 15 is fine so yeah, next we're going to add some uh, turbulent displacement so right click it uh, select the layer right click uh, distort turbulent displace you see it kind of wobbles like now well not really yet because we haven't animated it so anyway for the displacement you want turbulent amount uh, somewhere between 40 to 40 to 40 to 50 so I'm gonna go with 25 and the size uh, don't need to be super distorted so maybe about hmm, 10 15 something along 10 to 15 maybe. 13. Now we have that kind of wobbly look. Then we're gonna, we're gonna animate this size. No, sorry, the evolution. So we're gonna alt click on the stopwatch. And we'll bring up this uh, expression properties. So we're gonna type time times 250. And what that's gonna do is animate some wobbles like so and then for complexity we don't leave you know, we don't change anything and yeah that's about it for to be in this place okay so now we have our basic ring now let's put uh, some you know that weird stuff that's in the portal so we got a new solid uh, we can make this black call it fractal put it under the orange portal layer now we're gonna copy the mask so press M uh, copy the first mask paste it into the fractal hit M so we can't see that right now because the background and the fractal is both black so if we change the solid color it's probably easier for you guys to see uh, see that so it's there it's there so let's not worry about that it's just quick we add a um, fractal noise. So select layer, right click, uh, fractal generate. No, sorry, noise in grain, fractal noise. Okay, so now we have this cloudy stuff in the portal. Uh, if you see that it kind of exceeds the uh, images, I mean, sorry, the boundaries of the portal. So we're gonna go to the mask settings, hit MM. And put the expansion down by like minus 10 so it should fit just nicely maybe in minus 15 
and just to be safe. Okay, now we're gonna modify this. Uh, for fractal type, go for dynamic. Noise type, go for spline. Uh, you want to invert? You want to invert? And then contrast, uh, put it up a bit, maybe around 160. Brightness as well, put it up a bit. Uh, 15. Scale. So from the transform properties, scale. Uh, put it down so we want more of it. Uh, 75%. Yeah, 75 looks good. And then evolution. Uh, do the same thing. I'll click on the stopwatch and then type time times 150. And this is just gonna animate the fractal noise like so. And then yeah, that's about it for the fractal noise. And obviously it's the wrong color, so we're gonna right click, color correction, tint, map white to the same color as our portal. So FF nine zero 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 zero. And there we have it. it. Seems a bit sharp, so we're just gonna add a little bit of blur, little bit of blur, fast blur, uh, 2.5, just gives a little softer look. That's it, guys. You got a portal. And of course, uh, when you put it into your scene, uh, let's just pretend this is my scene. I'm gonna freeze frame this. and then add my portal so if you wanted to like grow after being shot up a portal device you just animate the scale so start from like 0% all the way to over like I don't know 5 10 frames maybe 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 100% it's a little big so maybe 75% so it just comes up like, like that. But yeah, you obviously have to uh, color color correct this to match your scene, because right now uh, everything else is color corrected, but this thing isn't. And something else that I did for the uh, for the actual video is I actually added a glow, which is just a simple like glow, uh, stylized glow. Uh, and you just need to play around with the settings of the glow because right now it looks terrible you might not want to use glow actually you just might want to duplicate it duplicate it and then go to right click blur fast blur and you just blur the crap out of it and then change the uh, blending mode to like add a screen and then put it under the main portal there so it's the glow is around the outer sides so with glow, without glow, with glow, without glow so yep, that's about it guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, learned something and uh, if you have any questions, post it in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time